Don't you have a lot of connections abroad? Do me a favor and find me an apartment with a caregiver. I'm sending someone abroad. Who, if I may ask? A troublemaker. By sending that person away, life will be easier for me and my mom. Do you really have to do this? She may have had spats with your mother, but you can't hide the fact that... That's my private affair. All right, then. Since you've already made up your mind, I'll start asking around, then. Excuse me while I make a call to a friend. Hello. It's me. I'd like us to meet. You made it. I thought you got lost. <laughs> How did you find my number? Well, I am your son, so I'd find a way to have it. You're different than the last time we met. <laughs> hey, better forget about that. You see, during that time, I had a lot of things on my mind. Anyway, Dad, let's sit down. Later on, I talked to my mom, and she told me... You all right? She told me about my complicated background. It's a relief that Xiao Zhendong has already left us. I'm glad that we finally reconnected, Dad, so I can serve you as a son should. Do you really mean that? Why would I not mean it? After all, I am your son. And the son's duty is to look after his father. That's why I did everything to find you, so I can look after you from now on, Dad. To be honest, I don't really expect any special treatment since I haven't been around for you and your mother. I'll admit that I felt so sorry for you back then. <sighs> but I'm glad you've done well for yourself since I hear you're now the company president. <laughs> the job just sounds fancy, really. Dad, I'd like to do so much for you. But I'm not really the rich, powerful man you think I am. Wait, I just came up with an idea. What if I sent you... Having lunch with you is the last thing I want, you self-centered merchant. Since you have to tolerate my presence today, why stay angry at me? Tell me something. Why did you have to hire Miduo back to work under Xiaoliang, when you know very well they had a history together? You know Lei Yiming had a tough time winning Miduo over, and what you did could make him lose her all over again. Is it really that easy for you to hurt people when it suits your convenience? Is that really how you see me? Oh, I see far worse. Then, I might as well tell you this. Tonight, Xiao Liang and Mi Duo are going to have dinner at the Crown Plaza. Let's see how upset Lei Yiming will be once he learns about that. You've been setting this up, haven't you? I'm going to tell Lei Yiming. <laughs> I'm not going to let you do this to him! Let go! I said let go! <gasps> All right, now it's my turn to talk. Last thing I wanted was for Lei Yiming to return. But whether Mi Duo gets shaken or not, there's one thing that I'm very sure of that you and Lei Ming will never be. And what makes you so sure about that? <laughs> because I talked to him. I told him not to bother you again. How could you be so despicable? Look, why don't you just sit down and relax, so we can both have lunch together? I will not sit down to have lunch with you, all right? I am too overwhelmed with anger by what you did. <sighs> oh, too overwhelmed with anger. If I could stir such emotions in you, does that mean that you care that much about me? <laughs> I'll go see Lei Ming, because talking to you is pointless. <sighs> Ow. <sighs> hmm. 
since I won't be around, you guys take care, all right? What's all right, Doctor. Just drop by when you have the time. I sure will. Doctor you Lay, you're back. Doctor Fang, what is this? You're leaving? Uh, wait. Aren't you assigned on the medical field service? We'll get back to that later. You've been doing so well here. Why leave? Oh, she got an award for her medical research, so she'll be transferred to the institute to work there. They've been trying to get her for a long time, and she kept turning down their offer, but now she finally said yes. Dr. Fong, I'm really going to miss you. Don't be a stranger, okay? Come visit us whenever you can. Dr. Fong, your ride's here. Oh, the okay. The car's outside. Sure, I'll bring please? it out for you. Thanks. <sighs> Looks like this is goodbye. Thank you, everybody, for all the support you've given me. <sighs> Take care, doctor. Goodbye. I'll see you. Hold on. I just arrived, and now you're leaving? What's the hurry, anyway? Why? You plan to stop me? <laughs> so what uh, Shaman said is true, that you're leaving for a better job. Hmm. The Institute has been asking me to join them for quite a long while, and I believe this is the right time. That's why I followed your lead, to face a new life and a change of scenery. <sighs> I'm sorry. After everything you've done for me... Don't blame yourself. I did it because I wanted to, all right? How are you both doing? Relationship. Mm, good for you. After all those ups and downs, you finally won. I'm very happy that you're finally together. It only proves that persistence really conquers all. Wangshe, there's so much more I'd like to say to you. But the most important thing I want to tell you is... Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for what? We've been helping each other out, haven't we? <sighs> Li Yiming, just promise me that you and me duo will stay together for always, okay? What you both have has renewed my sense of hope to find true love again someday. <sighs> Take care. Thank you.
Welcome back, Dr. Lei. Hmm. What's wrong? You look a bit down. Rough day at work today? It's nothing. I think I just need to lie down. Hey, hold it. You're hiding something, aren't you? We've discussed about being transparent and having mutual trust, haven't we? That's why I came back to Shanghai with you, because I'm ready to face my past. But here you are hiding things from me. All right. I went to the hospital and learned that Fang Wenxi just resigned. She accepted a better job at the Institute, but while we were talking, I realized that she's leaving because of me. She wouldn't have left if I didn't come back. <sighs> I can imagine what she must be going through. It's not easy. When you got on the train to leave, I was close to giving up. It was she who told me to persist, because she believes that a couple who love each other are bound to be together. <sighs> and now that we are together, she just leaves, without giving me a chance to repay her. Hey, don't feel so bad about it. You can still keep in touch. It's not as if you can't see each other again just because you work at different places. Also, she's always welcome to visit us here. After all, she's my friend. Don't worry too much about her. I'm sure she'll adjust and do very well at her new workplace. Yeah. Hmm. You'll end up with a furrowed brow that way. <laughs> all right. I think a nice hot meal will help make you feel a lot better. So tell me, what do you want? Nah, I'm fine. I was just thinking that I shouldn't have riled her up the way I did. Are we back to that subject again? You better stop frowning and feeling bad about her, or I'll get jealous. And when I get jealous, I'll take the first train back home. All right, all right, home. let's forget about it. So how did it go with you at Tessiro? Did he give you a hard time? <sighs> oh, after having a bad day, you want to know how mine went, hmm? Then I'll give you a rundown of everything I did. It's a detailed report that I prepared especially for you. So I got up this morning when the alarm clock rang and I went to the bathroom, washed my face and brushed my teeth hold and then it, I- Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm getting sleepy. Just tell me how it turned out. As it turned out, I did not get to see Xiaoliang the whole day. Not even a glimpse. I felt apprehensive. And then I thought of what you said. So I told myself, hmm. Why should I be scared of him? I will not be defeated by fear. You do not need to avoid him. I mean, you have to work together. Besides, I'm not a jealous boyfriend. If I were, I wouldn't have allowed you back there. The thing is, I trust you. All right, since that's the case, wipe these plates dry. Then set them down here, all right? I have to start cooking. Do I have to, love? I'm feeling tired. Just quit whining and get it done. Yes, dear. <sighs> At least have the soup if you don't want to eat. Mom had the soup made for you. Here. There's something I need to tell you. Since you didn't go to the company today, Xiaoliang's now the vice director of the brand department. Mido is also back to work with him. They've created a secondary brand together, but that's not what I'm really worried about. The thing is, Mido already knows my secret. If she becomes Xiaoliang's ally, then my past will be exposed at any time. And if that happens, we'll all end up in a crisis. If you're willing to give up all this, there won't be a crisis to speak of. I can't bear to live a common existence like yours. Even if I gave myself up, will they go easy on me? I'll just have to weather this out. Siyuan, you only have two choices here. Either you leave here right now, or you stay with me, and we both ride this together. For better or for worse, no matter what. What will it be? I can't condone what you've done, Siliang. <sighs> but I can't bear to leave you either. <sighs> That's good enough. 
That's all I want you to do. Just stay here by my side. I always feel better when I have you around. You're the reason why I lasted this long, Siwen. Good morning, Mr. Lean. You're here early today. How's the thing I asked you coming along? Faster than you might expect. The caregiver has already been hired. This is his number and his background info. Very efficient. Here's an even better news. I had my parents pull some strings abroad to get the certification. Just have CUN fill out this form herself. The visa will be issued in two days. CUN? Why? You're feeling reluctant to get rid of her? <laughs> of course not. I'll have it done right away. Since you've done me a huge favor today, let me treat you to dinner tonight. <sighs> All right. Well, I should go get back to work. Hmm. of the zero. Isn't that Midor? So she's really back here. <sighs> Sometimes I don't get Mr. Shao. Oh, come on. It's not Midor. Her name is Mi Mei Li. Mi Mei Li? What a tacky name. But then she used to be so ugly. Since this is the first day of my return here at the company, I would like to reintroduce myself. My name is Miduo, but you may also call me Mi Mei Li, since that's what my parents named me. You see, I have two names, just like my old self and my new one. And I do like both of them. Saw me. Look, I know you're Midwa's boyfriend now, so don't worry, I'll behave. Anyway, are you sure you guys can make it work now that she's back here again? I mean, after all the drama that went between you two, I can feel my stress building up again, so spare me any of your dramas, all right? Aren't you being the dramatic one here? Why are you making fun of me when I'm only being concerned? Are you and Midwa okay so far? Hmm, we're great. <laughs> yeah, right. Is that all the assurance you can give me? I've done everything to get you and Mido together, and you just let Shen Dong Jun bring her back here as if you didn't know she had a history with Xiao Yang? If they rekindle the old flame, you'll regret ever bringing her back here! Well, if someday they do get back together, that would only mean I'm not her true love, alright? Oh, how can you say that? Take it back! You should know that when you brought her back here, there are three things you must protect her from. Fire theft and Xiao Yang! Unless it's office hours, you must never give them a chance to be alone together! But I'm so what? <clears throat> Don't allow them to be alone even at work. Ah, all right, enough of the hitting. I'm dizzy. Anyway, what was the last... What were you talking about? I said you must never allow them a chance to be alone all together. All right, enough, enough, enough. Can you please relax? Look, Gawain, I'm not going to pressure her since she's stressed enough as it is. Let nature take its course. <clears throat> <clears throat> then don't come crying to me because you've let nature take its course. Where are you? <laughs> Just don't come crying to me because you've let nature take its course! You got that? Hello, Shandong Jun. Where are you? I'm at the hospital! Gosh. <sighs> don't come crying to me for letting nature take its course! All right, just calm down. That's enough, okay? Here, sit down, right here. Now it's your turn. Now tell me all about it. Tell me about you and Mr. Shen. Me and him? There's nothing to tell. Yeah? You're making fun of me. Wait, uh, come on. Uh, uh, wait, 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 just calm down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just relax. Good girl. Now listen. Um, well, wh what was I gonna say again? <laughs> 
All right, all right. You see, when he came to talk to us, we had the chance to talk about you, and he told me off. Told you off about what? That I should leave you alone. You know, he scared me so much, it shriveled my sick desire for you. That filthy scum, don't mind him. You can still show your sick desire for me whenever you like. Go ahead, do it. This has nothing to do with how I feel about you, all right? It's about how he feels about you. Now let's analyze the whole thing. Have you noticed anything strange about the way he's been treating you lately? Think about it. Think, 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 think about it. Have you gotten mental? I came here to talk about you, not that jerk. Do you think that because I love you, you can't upset me? Well, guess what? You just did. Hey, why are you so upset? I'm leaving. Don't you stop me. Oh, come just on. Stay away! Fine, I won't come near you. Don't, Don't worry. Don't stop me. All just right. stay there. I can't stop you anyway. Hey, goodbye. Take care. <laughs> oh. Oh. That woman sure is heavy handed. Shantung Chen, I have a meeting room filled with people waiting for you. The planning team has been working overnight to prepare their report for you. Where are you anyway? I have to deal with something at the hospital. Would you take over for now until I get back? I'm in another meeting room for the workshop. Remember, anyone late for a meeting will be fined by the minute. And you made that rule yourself. arrogant of him to assume things about me. What happened? Wait, Are what? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? I'm fine. Let go of me. Then what are you even doing here? I came to see Lei Ming. Oh, so him again. Why do you have to keep buzzing around him like a pesky fly? Because <sighs> I like being around him, okay? I'm his pesky fly, and you have no right to meddle with my affairs. Whoa! whoa! You want me to have a right? <laughs> Stop it. What are you doing? Some reporter might see us. Just back off. Why are you acting so weird today? Because I love you. <laughs> so what's the big deal? Many people love me, but I only love Lei Yi Ming. So forget it, buddy. Why don't we make a bet? Bet on what? On whose love will prevail. Will it be your love for him or mine for you? Because I know I'll win. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> you self-centered jerk. I don't know why I have to keep bumping into all the weirdos of the city. It's like I'm cursed. Look at you just now. Still no different from the naive pretty girl you were back then. I wish I hadn't given you the job. Thanks for the compliment, Mr. Lean. I hope you're also doing well as the new company president. Just watch yourself. There are things you must never mention. Especially in your situation now, when you're no longer protected. I only came here to do my work. And I don't expect to be protected by anyone here. So please don't try to threaten me, because it's not going to work. After all, I am the one who knows about that dirty little secret you have. Now why don't you get back to work? Make sure not to let your father down. <laughs> you want to expose me, don't you? Then you just try it. I dare you. And I'll do everything to bring you down. You and your old boyfriend. If you think I've done you wrong, then you deal with me. Just keep Xiaoliang out of this. Don't you worry. If that day comes, you'll be the first person I get rid of. And then I'll have them keep you company. It's long over. Just stay away from her.
I told you to wait at the coffee shop. Why did you come here? Well, I wanted to see your company. So fancy. <laughs> here. What's this for? They're what you need for the trip. Fill out those forms in there for your visa. Uh, and a debit card? How much is on it? Will it be enough? Dad, I'll be sending you on a trip, so of course you'll have more than enough there. I can't be stingy with you. I'll give you the pin when you get there. With the money you have in there, you can afford to buy whatever you like. Consider it my way of fulfilling my duty to you. What if I went abroad, and you decide not to give me the pin number? After all, you've been Xiao Zhendong's son all these years. Who knows if you're still on his side? My dad's already dead. Show him some respect. Remember, you were never there. It was he who brought me up. See? You just called him dad. You're on his side. Wait. Why are you rushing me to go abroad? Is it because you want to send me away so you and your mother could live it up? Look, the fact remains that Xiao Zhendong cared for me as a son until he passed away. But Xiao Liang was his more favored son. <sighs> Dad, I may be known as Desiro's president, but I don't own it. How did you become president then? All the company directors supported me knowing that I'm Xiao Zhendong's second son. But the thing is, Xiao Liang is also working there, and he's Xiao Zhendong's own flesh and blood. Right now, his people are set to ruin me. And if they find out about you, Dad, we'll lose everything. So now, do you understand why I need you to leave? Yes, I get it. Fine then, I'll go abroad. Go back to the coffee shop. We can't be seen together. You got it, son. Hmm. Don't come back here again! Why do you seem so tense? Why do you look so pale? I haven't been feeling well, staying stuck in this room. You're not feeling well? You should have told me sooner. What's the point of telling you? Would you let me out if I did? If you really want to go out, as long as you hold my hand, we can go for a walk wherever you want. Do you mean that? As long as you swear to stay with me, we can do whatever you want. Why don't we start off with the garden? The flowers Dad planted are now in bloom. We should take a look at them.
I just opened the window to get some fresh air. I can explain this. You've betrayed me. Well, you betrayed me first! <laughs> Lee Suen, how could you do this to me? I gave you everything. I even gave you a good life. And this is what I get? You're going to betray me? <laughs> Mr. Shao, I made some revisions for the design of Transcending Time. I hope you like them. Wait a minute. How do you know I'll like it if you leave? It's just that it's already past office hours. But the employees here were required to extend their working hours if need be. Or have you forgotten that? I haven't forgotten that rule. Really? Then let me ask you something. Remember the Star Series? That has nothing to do with my current project. Of course it does. Can you elaborate on the design concept? I need it for reference. The Star Series. The Star Series uses the... The stars as a symbol of love. I could give you a full report on it. I just couldn't explain it so well right now. So you've forgotten your own design? <sighs> what about a project you didn't design? My queen, remember that? Yes. I've forgotten them all. Because I promised someone that I won't bother him anymore. <laughs> After all the things you promised him, this is the promise you intend to keep? You can't leave yet! I'm sorry, but my boyfriend is waiting for me at home. pick you up because I miss you already. Feeling cold? I'm fine. Hey, your hands are really cold. Wait. What we gotta are you put doing? this on. There's really Come no on. need for this. Come on, just just put it on. There you go. Finally Fight. we can go home and make dinner. Let me tell you, I feel so hungry I could eat a horse. Watch the door. <laughs> I just looked at your design. You did an excellent job revising it. Well done. Thanks, Mr. Shen. But I've decided to quit. What? Why leave? 
Is there a problem that I should know about? It's a personal matter. I hope you can understand. You came back here to help me and the chairman. If your reason for leaving is a personal matter, why do you have to leave your job for that? Tell me, is it because of Xiaoliang? It's not because of him that I'm leaving. Mr. Shen, I came back here in order to help Xiaoliang. But then that's because we had a history together. The hurt that we caused to each other can't just be easily erased. So I'd rather just leave than stay here and cause him more pain. Okay, tell you what. Why don't you just get back to work and let me deal with Xiaoliang? This has nothing to do with him at all. It's my own decision to leave. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Shen. I can't help you anymore. Miduo, you can't just walk away like this. Miduo! <sighs> what a jerk. I don't know why Xiaoliang had to pick on me like that. I came back to the company to help him out, and that's the kind of things I get from him. Considering he's in charge around there, wouldn't you expect him to be a lot better than that? Well, I don't have to deal with him anymore. I've made up my mind. I'm not going back there again, no matter what. Exactly. A great designer like you deserves respect. If he tries to ask you for a favor again, turn him down. Don't even look at him. Don't even give him a chance to <laughs> beg you to go back there, even if he grovels. You know, I remember oh, right, this TV show already. I used to watch a long it's time going ago. Overboard. I remember a line from it. Never make do with anything. <laughs> Thanks. You really know how to make me feel better, Lei Ming. But doesn't it scare you as well, if I really quit and I lose my income? And even my savings. I'll have to depend on you financially. And you think you can scare me that way, lady? Come on! Don't provoke me now. I'll tell you what, huh? Why don't you take that and spend all the money in there? I'll be upset if you don't. But give me some gas money first. Now, <laughs> You know, even though you are not a rich man, I know that you will always be supporting me. You bet. You know, sometimes I'd forget that I'm a woman since I have been working at the office for so long. Maybe I should take a break from the pressure at the office. Then I could just stay at home. I guess it would be nice to be a... to be a housewife. Who knows, maybe I'd even be inspired by it. Fatty, you're my woman now. I don't want you to be working all the time, but I know you have your dreams, and I won't keep you from pursuing them. Maybe you should just take this job as a hobby. Don't take it too seriously. I wouldn't want my woman to be bullied, would I? You have to put yourself first. This time. All right, well, why don't we make a deal then? Since we're a team right now, you are responsible for making money and I'll be the one to spend all of it, okay? Best plan ever, it's a deal. Deal. Hey! Yeah. Whoa, that's a strong thumb you got there. All right, knock it off, come on. Take my back. Yes, ma'am. I know what's been going on at the company. If any of you wish to say something, you're free to do so. Mr. Lin, why was the financing scheme launched when we haven't given our consent to it? That's true. With the overwhelming amount of capital flowing in here, we would like to know who's been investing here. Well, I think those questions should be answered by Mr. Xiao himself. He came back to the company to establish a secondary brand, which caused heavy financial burden. I launched the scheme just to support him. So if any problems should arise, then he'll just have to deal with them. As far as I can recall, the funding demand for the secondary brand was very much within our means. And haven't I brought in investors to help cover for that? I assume you're referring to the Sun family's investment. From what I've gathered, they only invested here because of your relationship with Sun Fei Fei. We should have Chang 
。我帮你擦去那眼角的泪滴，却我难不到你的心底。和你在一起，每天都是好天气。流泪的缠绵透露出我的心情。我提醒我自己，好朋友完美的距离，害怕终究要和你分离。知道你的心，他为他震动，而我一心上，只为你守候，就只言不留。但时间已解开了结的，或许我们永远只是好朋友，而他是你选择幸福的人。是。